the primary purpose of this page is to allow the advisor to configure what content is available on the site so that users of the site don't have to weed through a massive amount of content while they're designing their book. And the best part about this is that you can focus on just one or two particular themes for your book and control the style of the book when you have the designers working all together. Okay, so here's how this works. All the different content components available up here will start with theme, okay? I look at every theme and I can see little previews of what the theme looks like. I can see theme information over here. This is also available on the advanced design page as well as in the corresponding content guide. I can uncheck all of the themes and only check the themes I want available in the software. Okay, this book I'm using artistry. That's the only thing I want to be available. I click artistry and click save the theme set. So now on the advanced design page, this is the only theme that's available. When I select the artistry theme, it also makes only the backgrounds used in artistry, which is watercolors, available as well. So it turned off all of the other background categories because they're irrelevant. Again, you can enable individual background categories or subcategories and check all, uncheck all, and so forth here. Any changes you make, go ahead and click Save. Moving over, 250 Google fonts this year have been added to the software. Okay, and they're organized by sans serif, serif, script, title fonts, and then miscellaneous fonts. And again, you can make only the fonts that you want to use available. When you activate a theme, the fonts for the theme automatically become available. Okay, so again, you can control the font selection to make a smaller selection really to streamline and simplify things uh, for the designers, and it makes a much better overall book. Clip art works exactly the same way. Elements, exactly the same way, okay? And finally, another feature here is page numbers. Page numbers allows you to add and update the page numbers on your book. This is a feature that can be turned on or off by your yearbook publisher or your admin. If you're an advisor and you come here and you don't see page number update functionality, you can check with your yearbook provider and they can do that for you. Here's how it works. This is the page number position. I can decide where the page numbers go in the book. For example, bottom center of the pages. The margin from the edge of the page. So check with your yearbook provider on this. Make sure that you have enough margin. In this case, the page numbers are half an inch from the edge of the page. Font, font size, a style of the page number. And then whether you want them outlined. Outline is a good idea because page numbers can go over the top of content. And that's it. Click update and it will automatically update all the page numbers in the book. However, I'm getting a warning right now. What's it saying? I can't modify page numbers because I've got sections checked out, complete, or review. Okay, important point. You can only update page numbers when all sections are in progress. So nobody can be working on the book and no pages can be reviewed at this time because it's, what it's going to actually do is go through and modify all the sections on the book. Okay, so if you are going to update page numbers, make sure they're all in progress first or you're going to see this message. Easy enough, and that covers the advisor configuration page.